All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of this diplomatic route that is still unfolding and shows no signs of abating whatsoever. We're being joined by Mr. Suresh K. Goel, a former Indian diplomat. He's joining us live from New Delhi at this point of time. Now, Ambassador Goel, what we are looking at play out between India and Canada, it has dragged on for five straight days now. And the Canadian Prime Minister does not appear in, in any mood to back down. But he's making these very serious allegations without furnishing any proof whatsoever. How should India respond to this? Uh, good evening. Uh, I think it's quite clear, really, that so far the Canadian Prime Minister has made these so-called credible allegations without really producing a night of support in this particular case. Uh, and he has continued to make those allegations without really any support so far. Now, uh, in this particular case, whether he is he actually was uh, backed by somebody or uh, somebody did that is very very difficult to say. But uh, mm -hmm. I would say that first of all, it's not at all expected of a mature politician to really take this kind of a step, which ultimately really sl uh, slings uh, mud in your own face. Right. In this particular case, I also believe that this uh, was uh, some evidence, uh, particularly those uh, email exchanges, etc., were provided by one of the five I partners. And then uh, it has been suggested that it may have been the USA which gave the evidence. Therefore, uh, I would say that eventually, uh, because of the consequences of this kind of an action, either they will have to back it up or right. back out. That's all I can say. Absolutely, indeed. They have to, as you put it, back it up or to back out of this. But what is interesting, uh, Ambassador, is the fact that, you know, what Justin Trudeau's and also the sources which, which are now, you know, putting out information on this say, that this is based on information that was collected by putting the Indian diplomatic staff under surveillance. Information was gathered through that. Mm. Um, and this was also apparently shared by one of the other five I nations. We do not know which amongst the other yes. five I nations this is. Now, the question that I want to ask you is, uh, why is the other you know, I nation not coming out and speaking about this? Uh Maybe there, I, we don't know what kind of reasons they might have, but uh, the my own sense would be that they might be putting some kind of a pressure on India for whatever reason they might have, mm -hmm. or they may have some other objective in mind. Now, it is interesting to note that one of the five I nations at the USA which is also a very important G7 partner, uh, G7 member, which is also an important strategic partner of India, right. and have come back very uh, recently from a very successful G20 meeting. Mm -hmm. Anthony Blinken has said very clearly that they are coordinating and cooperating with uh, Canada, and they do expect India to cooperate with the investigation. Right. Similarly, uh, Jack Sullivan, the NSA himself has suggested that there is no question of this creating a wedge between Absolutely. Canada and the USA, and they do expect India to cooperate. Right. Cooperate with what? Uh, therefore, it's very confusing situation there where we do not know which side is the USA on. Absolutely. Because if USA is backing Canada up on this, that clearly means a wedge between within the uh, a kind of evolving global order mm -hmm. where China is a disruptor and India is working with the USA right. to really in the interest of the new world order. So whose side is USA on is not very clear at all, really. But we will know the situation clearly in the next few days. Hopefully. Absolutely, indeed. We will get to know something about it in the next few days. My last final question to you, Ambassador, is this. You know, considering the kind of refuse that the Khalistani separatists have got in Canada, do you think India has so far been a little soft in dealing with Canada because of the validation and support that the Canadian governments have given to the Khalistani elements? I don't think there is a question of being soft, really, in this case. Canada took the first step. They uh, uh, 
uh, expelled one of our diplomats. We took the retaliatory step. These are all gradually coordinated, uh, gradually uh, graduated and measured uh, steps taken in this particular case. I think we will need to really see what we, further we can do. And actually, do we need to do anything further? As I said, unless we know correctly the, uh, the, the diplomatic situation, the picture, it's very difficult to uh, forecast or predict. But so far, I don't think that we have been soft in Canada. We have taken sufficiently strong action. Uh, we cancelled the visas uh, or we, we cancelled the visa process. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, 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 thrown the diplomat out. I don't think there is anything more that we need to do for the time being. At the moment. All right. Thank you very much, indeed, Ambassador, yeah. for joining us and getting us okay. that perspective there. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.